All right, welcome back in. So, kitchens. Now, I'm not going to go over everything here. I'm actually going to link a video in the comments of the person who figured out some of these items here, especially this storage cabinet that uses toilets, which is fantastic. I'm not going to reproduce it. I didn't create it. I'll link to his video. You can watch his and see how to do it. Jet mall or something like that. Uh, anyways, what I am here to show you is that. So I was asked to come up with a pantry idea. I mean, besides just having a small room with bookshelves that you stack plates on, I came up with this. Now, this uses the carved wooden nightstand. It's the only nightstand that you can actually stack items inside of. All the rest of them have a fake drawer and all that stuff you can't do anything with. So I'm going to show you how we do that. I'm also going to show you how I did this bad boy. This is the alchemy station, but it looks like part of a kitchen and it looks absolutely fantastic like this. And then one additional thing I'm going to show you with that bad boy right there and something I think people overlook a lot when they're doing kitchens. So we'll be right back with you in a moment. We're going to go to, to my testing area. All right. Now here in the test area, we are going to build this to showcase how you can do this kitchen orientation. Now, so you are going to actually need two layers deep on the wall uh, for one portion of it. So let's just pick a spot. Let's go there and let's go there. We're just going to use this just as an aside. So I'm going to go up to the brick and put that as my second layer. All right, that's fine. And over here, we're not going to go all the way over because we're actually going to do it this way. So for the the pantry type thing, what am I doing? Need to one and two. There you go. You only need two. So you need two wide. It can be the two deep. That's fine. It's a total of four if you count the column on both sides. And then you need. I want to say it's eight high. So let's make sure we're eight high. One, three, four. Five, six, seven, and eight. So I don't actually want to clip right there. You would have it clipped on top of that. I'm not going to do it at this moment because I'm just going to show you what we're doing here. So the reason you need this too deep is we are going to sink this alchemy station literally into it. And if we only had one deep, it would stick through the backside. So we're going to come like this. And I'm going to go until... It's about like that. I, I like having the back wall. I don't need it to be all the way there, and I can see it push through when I did that. So maybe be right there. Oh, that's come through a little bit. Let's try this again. See if I can... Eh, I can't do it that way. All right, so let's have this, this one little ball. Maybe that's a, some salt and pepper mix right there. There you go. Close enough. There's a tiny, tiny little bit, but it also kind of looks like these little nubs that stick out. So go in until the little salt and pepper bottle. It's not really salt and pepper bottle, but until that looks out. And this is perfect for a kitchen. So now we're going to take our nightstands. We're going to fit them here right in between. And I'm going to go in until either you can do it so you have just a little bit out. Or you can do it till it's flush. Let's just go ahead and do it till it's flush. You can stack two of them before you need to get up on something. This is kind of one of the difficulties of this game is trying to figure out when you're perfectly vertical. I think that works. So an easy way for those that don't know how to do, just do that. Just do a two block vertical. And it gives you a place to stand on. So I'm I'm using the verticals to align it, and then I'm coming until I just pop the uh, front edge in, and that should give me a pretty straight line, and it does. This one I might need to go up a little bit higher, but let's see if I can do it without going up any higher. Right. There. That's a little bit far back. 
But we will go ahead and deal with it for right now. Go back to this. Get rid of that bad boy. I lied. I'll need that back. What am I doing? Let's go back into that. We're going to put plates on it. So we're going to put something that's really visible up top. Actually, I do need to go higher for this one. So plates are such a pain to stack and actually get them to where it's vertically. You got you got to go way further back than what it looks like. Like see where it's just slightly clipping into the wood in the back? That's kind of what you have to do. Six is the maximum that you can go. So we'll go ahead and put all six in this one. And wow, I did a pretty good job getting those vertical. Not too shabby. We can still keep this and go to the next one. Uh, let's do cups for this one. Cups, it really only fits about four. It's, it's pretty difficult to get any more than four in there. I'm sure you can clip them and get more in, but I don't like having them clipped. So I'm just going to do it with the four. So, we, so you're looking at the back here until that just clips into the wood just a hair. And that's how you can, if you're not stacking them on a table, stacking them on a table is a nightmare. On this one, let's stop with four. Let's make it look like we've used some of these. And then we're going to go to some, what have I got here? Bronze cup, bronze cup. Now this has a handle. So this one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it so it's at a slight diagonal. This would be the same thing if you work at a bar. The same thing you're doing. Uh, I used to run a bar in my olden days. Um, the same thing you're doing on shells because if you spine them f straight out, they don't quite fit. But if you turn it just a little bit, they work really good. So then the last thing we're going to do, and this one I'm going to probably should have done it when we did it, but that's okay. Let's do it. See, we want that spot. One, two. I think it's three. Alright, so we're going to grab this one. This is the stone fireplace. It has the same comfort as the real crappy one that you can build right off the bat. Yeah, it was good. That works. So we're going to come in right about... I'm going to let it stick out just a little bit. It's okay if it sticks out a little bit. I can dig that just fine. And now we're going to take the kettle. Now, you can do it so that the kettle legs are visible, but I don't think it's really that necessary to have the kettle legs visible. I want to go up a little bit higher on the height on that, though. So we're going to place it up top. And I'm going to go back into this. Go up like that. So this actually looks like you'd have a kettle of stew or something right up there, exactly like what you would if you had a stone hearth, because the top's going to be nice and hot. And you'd have, of course, you'd have it with the legs, but I think it works great. It looks the part. I think this looks the part very well of an open shelving. And I love the look of this. It's just unfortunate that it doesn't operate as a food prep. It just looks really good in a kitchen. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody.